Welcome to Retro Crisis. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can install RetroArch on Raspberry Pi OS. Before I continue, if you would like to learn how to install Raspberry Pi OS onto your Raspberry Pi, I'll leave a video guide linked in the description below. Okay, so the first step is to go up here and click on the Raspberry Pi icon and then go down to Preferences and then go to Add Remove Software. And then in the search box here, type in RetroArch and press enter. And then it should begin searching for RetroArch. And this is the one you want. Simple front end for the LibRetro library. And then tick the little box here, and then go to apply. And then this should begin the installation process. And then you may be prompted for your administrator password. This is just to confirm the installation action. And then click on authenticate. And now we just wait for the download and installation process to complete. Once that's finished installing, all you need to do is press OK. And now if you go to the application menu up here, and if you go to Games, you should see RetroArch. Now let's open it. And there we go, the RetroArch we all know and love. Just one more thing I wanted to show you. If you click on the application menu, go to Preferences, click on Add Remove Software, and just type in Lib Retro, and then press Enter. And if you scroll down, so where it says LibRetro Wrapper for whichever core, you'll notice one for the PC Engine, PlayStation, and various others. you got one for the Sega DS, various other cores. So all you need to do is select whichever one you want. So maybe let's try this one, which is Genesis Plus GX, which is for the Sega Mega Drive, and then just press Apply, and then it'll download the core. And then again, just type in your password to authenticate, and then press OK. So now if we go back to RetroArch, and if we go to load core, you'll now notice that Genesis plus GX appears as a core. And that's how you can download cores for RetroArch on Raspberry Pi. If you'd like a beginner's guide on how to use RetroArch, please check out this video that I've linked in the description below. And I've also left a link to a playlist that is full of RetroArch user guides. I hope you found this video useful. This has been Retro Crisis. Thank you for watching.